Hey everybody, welcome to the Warboss Fitz channel. I'm Warboss Fitz in front of the camera this time. Normally you don't get to see my, my face that's made for radio. But this week we have been talking to Nova 3D about their new ABS-like resin 2.0. Now, Nova 3D, you might remember them from the Tough video that we did a few months ago. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And they liked that enough that they decided to send me some ABS-like stuff out to check out because, you know, in case we're not building stuff that's meant to go to war, just play war on the table. So, we got their ABS-like resin 2.0. Um, I normally run ABS like resins in my in, in everything I do. So I have switched out for this for one of the armies that I, I'm making coming up for the uh, alien hives for Grimdark Future. And I decided I was gonna do a little bit of kit bashing with it too, and there's some stuff that was questionable if it was gonna work under normal circumstances. So I decided why not? I'm gonna throw this in there and check out if this will work the way I hope it will. And so I've got a couple kit bashes and things on the table right now. They're just uh, cured on the table. We're going to do some close-ups on those so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm down here in the basement, and this just came off the printer. I was starting to take some supports off, and I was like, I should show you guys how these supports, how easy these are to come off. Now, I did uh, my own custom light supports on this one just because this is... If you can't tell, this is a kit-bashed uh, one-page rules model. But just listen to this. So the supports definitely do pop right off. So I'm going to get this cleaned up, put it on the base. Uh, I'm going to do some basing work on this one, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I have it all together. So after we had our little sneak peek down there looking at the supports coming off, this is what I, I came up with. This is a kit-bashed uh model for the alien hives for one page rules using a couple of their different things put together and i was i was concerned about these tentacles here how they were going to come out because they're a little bit uh fragile looking compared to the rest of it but as you can see they're they got wiggle they got wiggle, and that's what we look for in an ABS resin. ABS resin, it's not going to take the impacts that the last stuff did, the, the tough stuff. But, I mean, quite honestly, unless you plan on hitting this with your car, this, this is going to be able to hold up pretty good. And you can see we got all of our tentacles there. And even on the smaller stuff, just the detail, oh, I can barely even focus on it. The detail is able to pick up there. And even these, you're able to wiggle pretty well and then of course tails and stuff so this compared to normal abs stuff this seems to be tougher just because it is harder to wiggle the littler parts after they're all cured up like this so let's go ahead and put some primer on it just to, to give it the full the full picture because you know resin kind of kind of has a weird translucent even though it is a solid color like a translucent well you'll see what i mean we are back all right, we're all primed up, and even in, in the course of all this, this guy actually dropped from the priming station all the way to the floor, um, and it, it's it's still all there. Now you get the solid colors of the detail that the ABS can pick out. So yeah, there's the little dude. There's the bigger dude. So everything here is looking great. Everything looks like it's supposed to uh, on the render. Uh, anything that lacks detail is because it's kind of supposed to. So yeah, I mean, even you can see the little platelets here on the on the the, the tentacles still kind of wiggle. So ABS stuff, you know, as far as all my tests for ABS stuff, this passes the test. And if you want to see these get painted um, by the schedule tomorrow. If you're watching this on the Wednesday that it comes out tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live stream painting these up. Oh, as I was heading inside, I, I forgot to mention, too, in the video, a uh, little edit here. This stuff, it, it, it's a little bit thinner, it seems, than the normal ABS-like stuff I use. Uh, my, my basement has been a little bit cold because, you know, it's, 
it's March like up here in the Midwest. It, it swings between 45 and 75 degrees day by day. And the the normal ABS-like stuff I was using was really look looked like molasses coming out. And this this flowed really nice. So I'm not sure if um, that proves anything, but I'm pretty sure this stuff has a, a, a wider temperature range that it's gonna be able to be used in. So with the ABS like resin 2.0 from Nova 3D, it works perfectly well for what we are trying to pull off using it to make miniatures. Uh, it, it's, it's tough, it's flexible, it picks up the detail, uh, running it through our, our slicers on stuff that I thought was questionable, it was able to pick up just, just perfectly fine. So let's talk about some other stuff with resin. Now everyone says resin smells. And I've seen some other ABS like uh, uh, resin reviews where they said it was extra stinky. This stuff, th it does have a little bit of smell to it, but it's, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other resins. Like if you pop this open and you leave it running, it, I mean, during my, my normal day-to-day -day stuff, my, my nose is kind of fried anyways from what I do uh, in, in real life. But with this, it smells like, it smells like you walked in a hotel that has an indoor pool, like on the other side of the complex. Like it smells a little bit, smells a little bit like chlorine, but just, just barely at all. So uh, normal, it smells less than what I normally use. I'll, I'll put it that way. Flexibility. Well, you guys saw it. it works out pretty good. Um, paintability. Excellent. So, yeah, th there is there is nothing. There is no negative I see to this. It it works just fine at what we want it to do for war games. You can't throw it at a wall because it will break. It's not as tough as their tough stuff, but it's, with normal playing and normal operation. It's going to do what you want it to do. So thanks to Nova 3D for sending me a bottle to check out. And go ahead and check out their website. I got a link down in the description below. And go ahead and grab your bottle. See if you like it. That'll do for me out here in the garage. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.